Hey guys, Chris from the Late Night Lot Picker. Just wanted to do another video and show you some of my new tools that I recently got. And so, uh, sorry they can't fit on all into frame. There's some quite large ones here. I should start with, uh, I'm not just into the lock sport for the hobby of it. I just finished school recently, so I am a certified professional locksmith. And I'm in the process of starting my own business, just part time. Um, I never went into it as a full-time job, but it's just something I want to do as a hobby and to make, you know, make some money out of it. It's just a bonus. But along with that, I've already had some questions and people ask me if I could pen test for them. They want to see where the weaknesses are in their security and they want me to, to do a penetration test, which is awesome. That was an avenue I wanted to go down was to get into pen testing. So some of this goes along with that, some of it's for hobby, and it, it all kind of ties in together. But uh, we'll start with this. This is the Sparrows DDT. Um, they don't tell you what it is on the website because it works so well. Um, they probably don't want. If you want to know, you can find out pretty easily what it is and what it's for. But uh, they won't tell you on the website, but you can just do a quick search and you'll find out. But it's extremely effective. So that's the, uh, that's the Sparrow's DDT. Next one, it won't even fit all in the frame. This thing is so massively long. But I'll start there. There's a little cable here. It is the Sparrow's under the door tool. I don't have any lever handles in my house. I can practice on and show you guys. Uh, I, have, I have used it. It's also very effective. But I don't have any lever styled knobs in my house that I can do a demo on. So uh, that's that. And you see all these blanks sitting here. I got my first number four Swiss cut Pippin file. Didn't come with the handle, that's just one I had. For some of my other files, I have many, many, many files. And luckily, this one fit. I bought the wooden handle to go with it, but it doesn't quite fit. It's the hole in the handle is round, and this one's kind of a, a slot. But it works awesome. It's uh, for impression, and here's a key I've been working on studly. I just put a little notch in it to test the file when I first got it. I uh, I did make my own key grip. I can't find it right now. It was more or less just a proof of concept, and I I ordered ordered one off uh, the loft pick shop. So hopefully that'll be here soon. I got a bunch more packages and tools coming in. If you're impressioning, you need to have a magnifying glass. You don't need to, but it makes things a lot easier. So I got this off of Amazon. That was like nine dollars or eight dollars. So you got a ten, a twenty, and a thirty magnification. Uh, there's a light on the back. I won't aim it right the camera. It's quite bright, but there's that's for the whatever magnifying glass you're on. The top one's for the LED 20x. The bottom one's for the 30x, and right in the middle, so there's the top one. There's the bottom one, and right in the middle is a UV light. I don't know if the camera's going to show that. This looks like a white light, but... Yeah, the camera's not going to show that. But it's, it is an ultraviolet light. That works nicely. For something so cheap, it works amazingly, amazingly well. Let's see if I can show you here. Let's see where we are here. That's through a camera, but when you're actually holding it, it works extremely well. Oh, sorry about that. Pump the camera. <laughs> so along with that, if you're going to impress on you, you have blanks. But I got these other two. These are round files, just Swiss made. I think they're Still or Steel, the chainsaw company. Whatever you guys want to call it. We call it Still around here. Some people call it Steel. But these are just two round made in Switzerland files 
for sharpening a chainsaw, but I find they work quite well for impressioning locks. A bunch of blanks. I've got a whole whole case of blanks up here. These are just the ones that I threw in in my bag. Uh, this one's all yeah. It's got Y82s and Y2s, Y1s, Y11s, all kinds of blanks for Yales. Here's my quick sets, KW1s and KW10s, old KW2s, a bunch of quick sets. Uh, here's my Schlegs, SC1s, SC4s, SC7, SC9, even got a SC22. First time I've seen one of those, but I've got several of them and I just, you know, threw it on there just because this one's kind of a bunch of things. There's no set brand of locks. I got some DO5s, DO6, a bunch of Wisers, WR5s, and WR3s. Got a K1. I don't even know what that goes to. I got I think that's another for Corbin. WK2, and the L5. I don't know if that's like a Lockwood. A1145J. It looks like a Schlag, but I'm not quite sure. But just a bunch, a bunch of Masters, M2s, M11s, and 4s, and M1s. Got a couple BE2s. With a little guy on there, a little top hat and cane monocle man. It's pretty cool. Another BE2, and I got a DE7, a Dexter. All kinds of blanks. A little case to keep them in my bag. I got a few more blanks in here. It's getting kind of down. This is my, my old setup, but I'm trying to organize it a bit better. I got some AM1s and a bunch of just different things. So, some A's. I try to do it alphabetically. AM, B's, B's, BV, CO, DO, EAs, H's, and HOs. You can see all that just. All kinds of different blanks. This is only one of my containers. I've got three or four of these laying around. And I'm trying to set up my uh, pegboard again in a different part of the shop so it's not so dark in here. But I'm organizing it all. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and if you're if you're gonna spend the money on on a good file, like these Pippin files are they are not cheap at all. Um, Get some way to protect it. I'm gonna. I'm in the process of making a leather cover for it, but for the time being, I'm just using a piece of shrink wrap tubing that I uh, flattened down on the end and heated it up so it won't poke through. Slides on, protects it nicely. So that's that. I can just shove that one in there, and the two round files can slide in. Can slide in with it if the the handle's not on. So there's some of my new tools I recently got. Uh, I got a bunch more coming in. I finally placed my order for the, the Dangerfield Praxis kit. I got the Dangerfield Serenity coming. Uh, I bought a, a key grip and I get some new stuff from Sparrows coming in. So I'll probably do a video on that when it comes in. If you guys want to see the bag that I have, I keep most of my lock picks and, and pen testing and, and whatnot in, in a, a bag. It's a 511 tactical bag that's got my snap guns and bump keys. It's just basically so if I get a call to unlock something, I grab that bag and it's got everything I could possibly need to get in for uh, unlocking services or even if I get a phone call for some pen testing, which recently one of my employers I told him about what I was doing and he had never heard of pen testing and he wanted me to to see what the weaknesses were in his security if I could get in or not so anyways enough about that just wanted to show you guys some of my new tools and uh, until next time stay safe have fun keep on picking and uh, bye